program consists basically of two funding mechanisms, uh, that of the state, which is FWC, Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, and the funding comes from the Bureau, Bureau of Invasive Plant Management. We can do work outside the trails. It depends on the vegetation type. So in other words, when it's an exotic like hydrilla or water hyacinth, it doesn't have to be in the trail. Or if there's new growth, we've, we've been successful over the past um, several years, and because we've been in a prolonged drought, convincing the state to allow us and to fund us to push back some of the new growth that have, has come from the drought. And examples of that is New Farm, which is the spatter dock, which are the lily pads on the lake. Typically when you the water level goes down, areas that typically didn't have lily pads now become inundated with lily pads. So we've been successful in getting funding to allow us to push those areas back.